Hi, welcome to the Knits Up Podcast. My name is Mindy. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as KnitterCNY. Today I thought I'd talk about a couple of things. I'm trying a new setup, so we'll see how this goes. Let me know what you think of it, and then we'll kind of go on from there. I'm going to show you some projects I'm working on. I'll also show you some new um, products that I found that are interesting to me. Okay, so first product we're going to look at is the Prim Ergonomic Double Pointed Needles, and these have hook tips and a triangular shape. The size I bought was US 1 2.5 millimeter. Um, they come with five. I'm working with four. I cast on a 60 stitch cuff down sock and I'm doing two by two ribbing. These needles are interesting. It's not really a hook tip so much as it is a bulb tip. Um, I don't know if you can see that at all. Probably not. You need something with a darker background. Let's use the back of this exciting checkbook. Okay, so you can kind of see that they have a bulb tip and they're very bendable. I can do this with them and that's putting a little bit of pressure on them. They seem to, they kind of maintain that uh, bend a little bit. I don't know. I've only knit three inches of this leg. I'm going to do this all the way down. This is an old skein of socks that rock in medium weight in the color farmhouse. I also don't know quite how accurate these colors are going to be. You're kind of kind of have to take my word for it. I have a very MacGyvered setup. I bought these um, prim ergonomic needles for about eight dollars on Amazon. This is the smallest size I've seen for them. Um, I have a six US 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter, and those have worked really well. And I have tendonitis sometimes, so I, I tend to prefer these. So let's go with what else am I working on in the way of socks? I'm working on some Mexicala stripe socks which are made out of Peyton's Croy. Um, these are some mill ends that I bought from the Cambridge Fibers in Cambridge, Ontario in Canada a couple of years ago when I went on a birthday trip that coincided with a big ball sale up at the Listowel, Ontario factory for Spinrite. They make Patents, Bernat, and Karen. Um, now they're also going to be acquiring uh, Red Heart yarn, so I'm not sure where, about the production of that. The Big Ball sale is usually that same weekend. Um, I think it's the weekend after Memorial Day in the United States, so that following weekend. And they sell Big Balls. That's the Big Balls of Yarn. So it's kind of a funny plan words. Anyways, this mill end I think was 155 grams. And I think I bought it for like $6 or something. Granted, this is a couple of years ago. So these colors are kind of fun. They're coming out striped. Um, I'll just keep going until I think the leg is long enough. This big hank of yarn could knit about three or four socks. Um, you could knit probably four shorties, five shorties if you wanted to. And I'm using, I think I am using, that's a good question. I'm using High High Sharps US size 1, 2.0 millimeters. You probably can't see it, but there's very, very, very tiny writing, trust me, on the side of these. So I like those. They're kind of, they're pointy, definitely pointy and sharp. The other pair of socks I'm working on, I haven't gotten too much progress since last week. I'm using Knit Pro Zings double pointed needles. Um, again, we'll use the 
checkbook to kind of cut down on some of the glare. These have a little, um, they're aluminum needles, and then they have a little point on the end. Um, I think they're supposed to be um, a, almost like a copy of the signature, but they're not really because they're one solid piece. The ends are not different. The, the writing just ends there, or the there's not joins in between here. It's one solid piece. There is writing on these to tell me that they're U.S. size 1, 2.25 millimeter. That white stuff that's under the middle of my hand, uh, it probably won't refocus. But I'm using um, just some Patton's Croy yarn, Patton's Croy, um, in the, good question, Rainbow Stripes. Uh, colorway, rainbow stripes, Peyton's Croy. Um, I'm going to be making myself a pair of socks out of these. And so far they're working out pretty well. So the next thing that I've been working on is a blanket. And the blanket that I'm working on is a big giant wad of yarn right at the moment. But this is a corner to corner blanket. Try and show this right here. You start out down here with one one block, and then next row you have two. Then you have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. Once you know how to do that starting block and the next block, then you just build from there. Um, now it's very wide. It's wider than the screenshot. The yarn is Bernat Baby Softies colors, and I think the color was yellow, um, but this does have some blue and some red in it, and those little blocks sort of capture that color. This pattern is pretty much you can use this with any yarn. I've seen a lot of tutorials on it. I think they call this the Tumbling Blocks Afghan on their website and they call it, they have, um, they have, oh my gosh, they have four skeins that do this and I have four skeins of that yarn. And the last project that I am working on is a sweater. I'm going to show you the pattern first so that you know that. Um, it's the Plum Pudding Cardigan by Elena Nodell and it looks like that. Um, it has stockinette, reverse stockinette. There are pockets and it's a paid for pattern. Um, it comes in a variety of sizes. I'm going to a peek here. It comes in 12 months to size 12, 14. So that gives you an idea about that. What am I using? I am using Karen Cakes. I'm using Karen Cakes in the Rainbow Sprinkles colorway. Um, these were bought several years ago. I am to the point now where I finished the body. You knit down from the top, from the collar here, and then you knit down. You do some fancy work to get the pockets here. So this pocket will eventually have some ribbing here there will be a button band on this side that'll kind of close up that pocket. And then there's um, ribbing at the bottom. So that came through pretty well. It went through two complete cycles of the yarn. Um, the green here is a little shorter because I chose where it fell. I had enough yarn to do green pockets on both sides. Um, so that just happened to be for this size. I think I'm making the... 910 maybe I can't remember exactly but it's not it's the third from the largest size and then I am doing the sleeves but I'm knitting them in stockinette and then I'll just turn them around the needles I'm using 
for the sleeves are different than the needles I used for the body. The body's done flat, so you knit and purl back and forth to make the body. And I used a 3.75 millimeter US 5 needle. When I went to work on the sleeve, I had started on this sleeve and was using a size 5, 3.75 millimeter needle and the sleeves were starting to, you could tell they were different gauge. So what I did was I have a pair, I have a few sets of Chinese knitting needles from wish.com um, bought before a lot of the tariffs went into place. So Chinese knitting needle sizes do not have a 3.75 millimeter size. It just doesn't exist but they had a 3.5. So I grabbed a 16 inch 3.5 needle and that's giving me the correct gauge. Um, so the yellow would be from the other and the from the 3.75 and the orange and red would be from the 3.5. I think they look similar enough that it's going to be okay. Might be slightly smaller, but my goddaughter is not really going to care as long as she has a sweater. This will eventually have long sleeves and a hood. So this kind of gives you an idea of what how the sleeves are going to look eventually. Um, and this yarn is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. It does say hand wash, um, lay flat to dry, but I've heard from a lot of people that they put it through the washer and the dryer okay. I think it'll be fine. Um, I wash... 75% wool, 25% nylon socks through my washer and dryer all the time. I don't have any issues. Um, if you have any experience with this yarn, let me know what you think. Um, but I think it's going to turn out fine. So far I've used about a skein and a half, but it's the color runs that are getting to be something different. Uh, the last thing that I bought this week was the Mandala Ombre from Lion Brand. I brought, I bought this at a Walmart. I want to say I paid about $5 for it. Can't remember exactly. It's 3.5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 344 yards, 315 meters. It's a US, it's a medium weight, four worsted weight, 20 stitches per inch, 27 stitches per row on a size 7 needle. They suggest a size eye hook, 14 and 20. For that, it's 100% acrylic. This color is called Harmony. Um, it's, there's a, I want to say Walmart carries about four or five different colors. Um, this is, the regular Mandela is a, is a size 3, which is a lighter weight, which would be equivalent to like a DK weight. And this is definitely a worsted weight, but I liked those colors. They remind me of blue jeans. I make lap afghans for the nursing home where my dad has resided for the past three to four years. Um, we're coming up on four years. And I thought this would be a good color for either a, a woman or a man. Um, so I'm going to use the granny square blanket that I make. The all for one comfort blanket, I think is what it's called, from Bernat that's on their website. It's a free pattern. It's basically a granny square rectangle. Um, you start with a chain in the middle, uh, granny square up one, do the granny square stitch up one side of the chain, and then go down the next, the other side of the chain, the bottom, so that you wind up making a rectangle all the way around. It's a pretty easy pattern to memorize. So I'm looking forward to using using this yarn. It's very soft. Um, that gives you kind of an idea of how it looks. Sorry if that's washing out at all. I'm trying this new overhead camera rig. Um, it's definitely MacGyvered. Um, but we'll try it and see. It has a little bit of natural light. It has a little bit of overhead light. Let me know what you think. If the colors are accurate, um, you can compare at home. Kind of let me know what you think and we'll go from there. Have a great week, guys. And remember, Knits Up is available on YouTube. I don't really post to iTunes too much anymore. Um, and I will 
try and put this up on Facebook as well. And I will do a little Instagram tag so that you know where to go look for it. Have a great week, guys. I hope you are using your hands to craft something because it's you giving a little bit of love. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye.